Welcome everyone to another race face driver update. Well, guess what, man? It was a hot time in Daytona and New Smyrna this weekend. Let's start off by talking about Anthony Alfredo as he was running his first race of the year at the NASCAR k and Pro Series East at New Smyrna on Sunday. Now, Anthony was running in the top 10 most of the race until late in the race, an incident took him out on lap 133 when he got together with Dylan Bassett. Now, Anthony got a DNF for the weekend, but he still had a great week. And guess what? Up next, Bristol Motor Speedway on April the 14th. Now, race face driver Ryan Vargas was also at New Smyrna this weekend in the k and Pro Series East. And Ryan started off his weekend by qualifying a solid 11th and then brought home a top 15, finishing in 12th position. Ryan is ready to take what he learned. Now, remember, this was his first race in a K&N car. So he's ready to move on to Bristol Motor Speedway on April 14th as well. Now we're going to kick off and talk about young 14-year-old Sam Mayer, who was competing in the World Series of Asphalt Racing again at New Smyrna. Now this young man had an impressive start, finishing fourth on Friday night and bringing home a second place finish on Saturday in his number 22 Menards Fury Racing Late Model. Now let me tell you something, that car was flat fast. He did an awesome job and I'm telling everybody, watch out for this young man, Sam Mayer. He's going to be a future star in the racing world. Now we're going to go over to the big track, Daytona International Speedway, where we find Sheldon Creed, who qualified 14th on Friday for the Lucas Oil 200 that was going to be run on Saturday. Now, the weird thing about the qualifying there is they were pack qualifying. Sheldon did not have a lot of good cars, so that's why he was starting back in 14th. But it didn't take him long for the showstopper to race his way to the front. Now, coming down to the white flag, Sheldon was in front. Going down the back straightaway again on the last lap, there was an accident behind him that brought out a yellow flag. Now in the ARCA division, if you take the white flag, then there's a one lap shootout. So we took that restart, but guess what? It happened again. Sheldon again, leading the race. We were kind of joking afterward, it's kind of like Sheldon won the race twice, but on the third restart, because of a cut tire, Sheldon had to come in, pit, get tires, took a splash of gas, and had to go out and start in 12th. But you know what? This is why they call him the showstopper. In the last lap, Sheldon drove from the 12th place position to come across the finish line in third place. That was one impressive run. Up next, the Music City 200 at Fairground Speedway in Nashville on April the 7th. Well, that's all the news from this weekend's Speed Weeks. Now, remember, Next week is the big race, the Daytona 500. Sam Mayer's going to be racing five more nights. So we'll be bringing you updates on that. And make sure to catch us on Wednesday when we're going to be talking to Jesse Love from Out West and also Joe Valento, one of Raceface's next drivers. Everybody have a great evening, and we'll see you back here on Wednesday.